Hello everybody, this is Zoom and the Zoom Talks. And you guys, the title of the video is called Listen to What Trump Just Said. And I'm going to play this small clip of this uh, of the speech that Trump did about him uh, explaining about his uh, assassination attempt. Because if you don't know, um, a few days ago, there was a, a assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. And Trump is just explaining how God was with him and God saved his life. So I'm going to show you guys a clip and I'm going to give my response after you guys see the clip. Here's the clip. And that's the clip. And so, you guys, it's very important that we always keep God in our lives, uh, you know, because God could take us out of this world at any point. And that was a very scary moment. You know, whether you like Trump or not, that was scary because we haven't had something like that happen in the U.S., a assassination attempt on a president or foreign president's life and since the 80s i think i wasn't born in the 80s or whatever but yeah that should never happened you know um whether you like trump or not whether you like biden or not or whether you like politics or not a assassination attempt on a president's life is unacceptable should never happen but looking at it from a biblical perspective um, I want to read John 14 and 27 King James version. It says, peace. I leave with you. My peace. I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. So that's red text. Jesus talking. So that and from what my discerning spirit is telling me from the Holy Spirit is Jesus has given us peace and not as the world giveth, you know, this peace that we have inside of us is from Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God the Father. Don't focus on what the world is giving you. Focus on what Jesus has already given you as a gift, you know, and I also want to just elaborate on Matthew 24 and 6 from King James Version, because that attempt on Trump's life could have sparked a war because we always hear about foreign wars like uh, the U.S. going to war with China and Russia or uh, China going to war with Taiwan. But what about a domestic war? If Trump would have been, you know, out of here, if you know what I mean, if that like that shot would have actually hurt Trump, that would have caused a, I think, domestic <clears throat> excuse me, a domestic war uh, on U.S. soil between Republicans and Democrats because, you know, the Democrats don't like Trump and the Republicans don't like Biden. And we know that a lot of people are saying that Trump is going to most likely win this election. And a lot of people are saying that this was an inside job. And I want to get to that in a minute. But as for Biden, a lot of people, Biden is, there's rumors that Biden is going to be stepping down either this weekend or this week who knows but people are sent reports are saying that biden is stepping down very soon and i do i have an article about that yes i do have an article i'm gonna get to that in a minute but matthew 24 and 6 king james version this red text this is jesus talking it says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So you shall hear of, of rumors of, of excuse me, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Now, when I think of wars, rumors of wars, yes, a lot of wars 
a lot of nations will go against Israel. But what about domestic wars? Wars in within the country, you know? Because the U.S. is divided more than ever, in my opinion. And if Trump were to not be here anymore, and that hitman or gunman, who I won't name, actually succeeded with his plan or whatever, that would have caused a lot of chaos in within the U.S., in my opinion, you know? Because a lot of people don't like Trump, but there's a lot of people out there that like Trump. And I want to touch on Trump's speech. Trump said that God was with me. Now, if you've seen Trump or that video of Trump getting hit in the ear, and there's like a little AI-generated 3D model of what the bullet in Trump's ear, like when Trump turned his head, that bullet almost hit Trump's head. God spared, God like saved Trump, literally saved Trump. Because, you know, God sees us as his children. Not everybody's God's children, but some of us. Um, well, I, well, me personally, I'm a child of God, but I can't speak for everybody else. But you guys see what I'm saying? God helped Trump, saved Trump's life, and God puts people in powerful position positions. Now, if Trump becomes president, he has a mission. God has placed Trump in a powerful position and whether you like biden or not god has put biden as president now here's the thing the reason why i say that is this god does things and god allows things now i take that back i don't know if god put biden there or put trump there but what i do know is, is god allows things to happen that's how i should uh reward uh reword that because here's the thing nothing happens without god's approval you see what i'm saying god allowed Biden to be president god allowed trump to be president but god definitely well i know for a fact saved trump because remember god could take you out of this world anytime he could take me out of this world he could take you guys out of the world you know god create create this world god is the alpha, alpha and omega and I am very pleased that Trump uh, sees that God uh, gave him a second chance, you know, because Trump has kids, you know, and if he were to not be here anymore, that would devastate his kids, you know, but I'm going to read this article. And also, I did say I'm not vote for Trump or Biden. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I am Team Jesus, Team Jesus Christ. But I just find it interesting that all that's happening. And uh, I'm going to read this first article because this is interesting. This is from Washington Examiner, July 17, 2024. It says Secret Service knew of threat to Trump, but still let him take stage. Lawmakers here. The Secret Service knew there was a threat. The former president Donald Trump last weekend, but still let him take the stage in Butler, Pennsylvania. Lawmakers revealed Wednesday. Why would Secret Service let Trump take the stage if they knew that there was a threat out there? Why? Why? That's almost like a backdoor to me. If you don't know what a backdoor is, it's a, a setup to me. But, yeah. And if I was Trump, I would not be running around Secret Service. That's just me, because that was unacceptable. Um, and on top of that, this is from Forbes, July 16th, 2024. It says, U.S. discovered Iranian assassination plot against Trump unrelated to rally shooting, report says. Um, now they're trying to blame this on Iran to take out Trump. The American people aren't stupid. We know who was really behind this. But... If you know, you know. Um, and last but not least, Time to Israel, July 18th, 2024. It says, when, when, not if, Biden could chop out a presidential race early as this weekend. So if you guys don't know, they say that uh, Biden has the flu. I won't say the word, but you know what I mean. The stuff that happened in 
2020 and the whole country had to lock down all that. He has the flu. Um, he's sick. That's what they're saying. But even the Democrats want Biden to drop out. It's not looking good. If I had to guess, they're either going to have Kamala running, Gavin Newsom running, or Michelle Obama running to get the Democratic nominee. And there was something that really was disturbing that happened at the RNC convention. There was a, a woman. I don't. Let me Google her name, you guys. Her name was Harmeet Dillon, I believe. And I think she's a Republican. I don't know. But she did a very, very disturbing uh, prayer at the RNC convention. And people, a few people, people were bowing their heads. And she prayed to another God. I was disgusted. From what I seen, Trump looked very unhappy. He did not bow his head and pray, which is good because we do not pray to no God other than God, Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The, the three in one. And we need to absolutely uh, not let these type of people influence I actually I'm not gonna get into it I'm not gonna get into it but I just I found it very interesting that the RNC convention allowed that to happen um and JD Van Trump's vice president he, he I think he I don't know who he's married to but he was clapping after that I think it was a pagan prayer which is a huge red flag um but I'm starting to learn that well, I should already know this. Politics, are, politics is dirty, and everybody is not for Jesus. That is what I'm learning, and this world needs to turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. And I'm not putting a date or time on the rapture, but we are in a season, in my opinion, for the rapture. And the tribulation is coming. I'm not putting a date or time on that either, but yeah. And But I'll say this. In conclusion... We need to pray for America, pray for Israel, pray for this world, and pray that things can get better. But in reality, I don't think it will until Jesus comes back. Because Jesus Christ is the only one that can save this world. Um, things are getting intense in this world. We there was a assassination attempt on the foreign president's life. The current president is about to drop out. We have never seen these type of things in this world. Um, and I don't know what to say, you guys. Things are heating up. Um, yeah, it's just chaos, you guys. There's chaos in America. That, that's the best way to put it. There's chaos in America. And we need to pray for America. And I'm praying for everybody, you know. Um, praying for praying for both presidents. Praying for Donald Trump. Praying for Joe Biden. Hopefully they come and uh, come to Christ, you know. Because I, I don't know the relationship with the Lord. I don't know. And after that assassination attempt on Trump's life. Hopefully he has a deep connection with Jesus Christ. Hopefully Joe Biden has a deep connection with Jesus Christ. Because remember, uh, God, God has seen the worst type of people. The worst. And God has changed people for the better. You know, Paul. Paul is a perfect example. You know, Paul... Uh, was Saul before he killed a lot of, I think, let me see, give me a second, Saul, let me see, let me see, was it Jews or Christians, um, Saul begins to persecute the Jewish followers of Jesus, uh, yeah, Paul, Paul killed a lot, sorry, let me see, yeah, Saul persecuted a lot of people, but, you know, he ended up writing a lot of the New Testament, you know. So, 
Trump and Biden can change, you know. None of us are perfect, you know. But we can all try to be better and all serve Jesus Christ and all put our faith in Jesus Christ, you know, and spread the gospel. And that's all I want to tell you guys. Um, the world is in chaos. The world is slowly improving. But something, I do want to say this. Let me see. I think some Louisiana did. Uh, let me see. Mm, let me see. I think of Louisiana, they're, they're going to put the Ten Commandments, which is good, I think. That's good. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to tell you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys up too much longer. I'm going to try to do more videos on this channel. Sorry I've been gone for so long. Uh, that's all I want to tell you guys. God bless. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow.